uh, what people need to realize is that we're doing okay. As a human race, we're doing actually extremely well. I think that we are about to embark on a journey of collectiveness brought about by choice. And it will be a choice in response to a stimulus, let it be peaceful. And our nature is to unify. This is the thing. We're built to come together and fix each other and help each other. I would imagine, I, I visualize this desert battlefield of men in green army fatigues, even though I know they're wearing brown and gray and things, just charging across the desert, you know, just like cutting, mowing guys down, guys like dying and killing. And <sighs> Not that they want to. I don't think any of those, I mean, everyone's got like a deep, part like some desire to fight sometimes it's like part of our aggression how do you build muscle you strengthen it by beating the shit out of it by wearing it out and it's fun you do that you ever arm wrestle someone you should if you haven't it's exciting it's exhilarating and you'll probably lose well that's that's the way i always looked at it i didn't i didn't care winning wasn't as important as staying healthy maybe that's a lesson to take yes the healthiness of our human race is much more important than any one person coming out on top. That's a important thing to take away. But basically, it's fine. Like, I don't know if this is just me. Maybe this is why I pissed. Because I, I feel like it's fine. But it's like, am I just talking out of my, my glass tower? That's what it feels like. I, I look around and I'm like, dude, the world is good. It's Humans are extremely good creatures. They are lazy sometimes, from my knowledge. They put systems in place that work and then be damned the consequences because there's other systems that they're putting into place that work and be damned because this, that, and the other. And it's like, there, ultimately, there is no because. They're just doing it to get to the next state of evolution. And we're using the Earth to get to the next state of evolution. The Earth knows that, cares about us and wants it to happen because we are the earth we're from the earth and of the earth and sourced straight out of Compton basically straight out of the earth and the sky and the stars and the planets and the alignment uh, that's an important part of it is the alignment itself the items sometimes aren't as important as the way they're aligned aligned uh, so yeah we're trading this energy and the planetary bodies seem very pleased. Um, it's a volatile time, and the media is making it look a lot worse than it is, I think. Uh, Fox News, CBS, ABC. I don't know why they've been talking about Bernie Sanders and Hillary Clinton for so long. It's like, dude, are you really going to make, like, you're going to set up the worst reality show on TV and make everybody watch it for two years? They should be doing more realistic debates in a closer amount of time. And the president should still be debating people for his job after he's in office. And I say he as if S-H-E, you know, he is part of she. Man is part of woman. We're all one unified object. Uh, boobs, tits, and cock, you know, you can think about that if you want. But I'm talking about the human race. Humor. Human. Humorous. What's up with the hue? My uncle Hugh might have might know a little bit more about that. What about you, Hugh? Uh, let's get back to business. The reality of nature. The universe is amplifying. Humans are a subject of nature in which we ourselves are the experimenter and the experimented upon and Though such, our experiments do create the next fold. So be ready because everything you do and say has implications and results and applications and affectations. And whatever you did six months ago is still going to affect you. That's the world. But it's like a pool of spinning water. If you spun it six months ago, it's probably not going to be affecting you as much as if you just spun it. 
And if you spun it six months ago in a way that you didn't like, you can kind of spin it the other direction and change it and make it, warp it into the shape. And that's how reality is. So as bad as things were six months ago, our behavior right now can drastically affect it and change it. As bad as they were yesterday or even right now, our behavior right now can change it. Massively. 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 Because especially knowing that whatever you did in the past, as bad as you were, you did it with a technique of like super fast badness. Like you were really, you figured out how to like spin it so bad. Now you know how to spin it that fast and you can do that good and change it and use your old ways. You can come them to together, bring them together, come together to form a better form than good or bad ever could have been. And that's what we always have done. Once we learned what we were doing, once consciousness erupted through our spines, maybe it was DMT, maybe. The pineal gland, is that, a, is that a, an evolutionary result of something that had been much bigger, probably? Or was it always small and it's been growing this whole time? That's possible. No, I think in some animals that gland actually has like a, like in lizards, the pineal gland has a fucking lens on it. Like, like the eyes have lenses on them, so does that fucking gland because it's the third eye. So as soon as we were able to self-reflect, we've been meshing good and evil together. But the result is power. I'm a good person. I get nervous toying, tossing and firing with the idea of evil, of using evil to produce good. It sickens me, but that's in and itself a result of death and evil, sickened, to be sickened. Why would I be, why would I have any problem with someone? I don't wanna watch someone do evil. I don't, you know, the. Uh, the march some kids down the side of the road with their hands tied and shoot them in the head. Why would I care if people do that if it leads to a greater good? Well, I'm telling you why it sickens me because I don't like that behavior. I don't want that behavior. I wouldn't want it to happen to me on either side. I wouldn't want to be the guy carrying the gun. I wouldn't want to be the kid. And I don't want to see other people have to go through it. So that's why I get so angry talking about evil and bringing up just using that to get to the next state of evolution that might be better than whatever but self-reflection what have I done I'm being my best self <sighs> my best self is there such a thing your best? Yeah. It's 100%. When you give 100%, you can always give 5% more. You can give 900%. But if you give 100% of whatever you're doing, then you're doing it. Right. That's all you need to do. Well, no, that's part of what you need to do. Do your best. Be honest. Don't take what other people say personally. Spire yourself. You know you're the one. 